So now you can see uh, my wiring job. I'm trying to keep this neat, but it's really, really hard. There's the Nano. It's all now wired in. And there's plenty of room for the, um, uh, for the piston to fit in between all of that equipment. And I'm pretty happy with all of that and how it's looking. That's connected up now, the hydro wire. I've also added a capacitor which uh, sits between the signal and the negative for the bow servo. Now I'm going to wire up the pressure gauge. This also has a signal, a positive and a negative. That's the nano. And the wire to the signal goes into the nano. The negative obviously goes to the common ground. And from the signal, there is a 47 picofarad capacitor. It's actually picofarad, as you will see in a minute. The positive goes to the positive power. And in between the positive and the negative is a 1 microfarad and a 0.01 microfarad. And I've got them all here wired in together and they're all completely fine. I'm going to use some hot glue to hold them in place. But that's all now nicely done. And that is now also connected to the pressure gauge. Now you can see uh, I've got the servos running. That's the rudder and you can see um, that the bow hydro is also now wired in and working and that's all working pretty well but now we have to line the servos up now when I pull that particular arm on the radio down I want it to dive which means that I want the stern hydroplane to actually go into this mode because then the water will kick down, push the stern up, and the bow goes down. That's what I want. Which actually, therefore, means... Let me just go over here. When I push this down, you can see that it's turning anti-clockwise. All right. So it means that dive is anti-clockwise. That's fine. Now I need to check the self-leveling device because what that means is that when the bow, for example, goes up, I want this to go into dive mode, which is anti-clockwise. So let's see, that's anti-clockwise. Now if I lift this, it's going the wrong way. So I have to change it. And the thing that I've discovered here is that the only way to sort it out is to change the direction of the micro gyro unit and turn it around the other way. Now, the bow is when it goes down, di when it dives, I want that also to go downwards. And it's also moving anti clockwise. But also, if the boat rises in the water, Therefore, I want it to go anti-clockwise into diving motion. So anti-clockwise is looking fine. And when I lift this, it's also going anti-clockwise, so that's good. That's all lined up. So you can see I've lined those up one after the other. And if there was any problem, I would change the linkage on the bow, because I can make that either right or left. So here it is all working. Now, I want to show you this. The knob is not calibrated correctly. I'm finding that when I turn it to the left, it's just not in that nice little space. And when I'm turning it to the right, it's not quite in that little space. It's different. And that turns the pump onto the bow and the stern. And when I bring it down to five o'clock, it's meant to turn on the water pump. And when I take it to, what's that, about eight o'clock, past eight o'clock, it's meant to go into uh, automatic depth keeping mode. So, I want to set this up a little bit better, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it 
simply using Arduino. So I want from that setting to that setting to be um, pumping toward the stern. So when I put it there, it's pumping. I want it from that setting to that setting to be pumping toward the bow. So I've got that much play. And then obviously go all the way down for auto control and go all the other way to turn the pump on for the gun. That's what I want. So I need to recalibrate the Uno. Now here's my computer screen and I'm going to start up my uh, Arduino program. It comes up with a program sitting on it, but I'm going to go to my sketchbook, to my project boat, and to number 17. That's the very latest version of my um, sketch. Now, I'm going to, uh, I've got directions on the front there to show where everything is, but what I need to go through to, first of all, is I want to read what the calibration is um, of that knob. And so what I'm, this is all, uh, this serial print bit here is all about sending a message back the other way to the laptop. So I've, I've made that live, saved it, and now I'm going to upload this sketch using the USB to the uh, Nano. So it's, that's it. And you can see the bar along the bottom showing that it's uploading to the Nano. There's a fair bit in the sketch, so it takes a little while. So that serial print line will enable me to read what the knob is, what the information that's coming from that knob channel, if you like, to the um, to the Arduino. Now this is the monitor and as you can see the monitor is reading the knob and it's telling me that in neutral it's at about 1540. You can see that number flicking past. Now if I turn that to five past and quarter past it, I need to know what these positions are going to be. So if I first of all Yes, you can see me doing all of this again. As I'm doing all of this, I'm taking measurements on that screen of what um, is, is um, being read from the Nano. And I can tell that 1480 is the position of the knob, 1250, I want, so I want between 1250 and 1480 to turn the pump on. I want less than 1145 to turn auto on. You see what I'm doing here, and then the 17 to 1890, and then I've got um, 1930 onwards. So let's just have a look at this. This unknob in is just this is the code. I'm going to change it to greater than 1250. I'll just change this one to 1250, and then I'm going to change that one to 1480. Okay, so you see what I've done? I'm just changing the code so it's going to read it differently. Now on the other side, I'm just looking at the whiteboard now. I can't remember what the numbers are, but I'm just putting them in as I've written them up. And this is the, this will be the, is it the nine o'clock or the three o'clock setting? Can't remember. But that's, that's uh, recalibrated that. I've uploaded the sketch and now you find it clicks perfectly in that particular area. And it's as simple as that to adapt your sketch, upload it to the Nano and make changes to that software in there. It's just amazing. And I can do this, I can develop this sketch and make it do all sorts more things as I think about it and go along. But that's calibrated that knob beautifully.